What would happen if someone has ingested a strong poison? What will be the course of the process after the ingestion of the poison? Let's discuss it in details. Upon ingestion of the poison, it will enter into the gastrointestinal tract, where it will begin to dissolve. Poison is absorbed through the walls of the intestines and enters into the bloodstream. Entry or the absorption of the poison depends on the type of poison. Absorption can vary in speed and efficacy too. Once in the bloodstream, the poison is distributed throughout the body, reaching various organs and tissues. This distribution is facilitated by the circulatory system. The poison will then interact with cells, disrupting normal cellular functions. This disruption can occur through various mechanisms such as interfering with enzyme activity, damaging cell membranes or disrupting signaling pathways. The toxic effects of the poison manifest as symptoms which can vary widely depending on the specific poison and the dose ingested. Weavers, symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, respiratory distress, seizures, or even organ failure. Some poisons undergo metabolism and liver, where they are broken down into less toxic or more easily excretable forms. However, the liver's detoxification capacity is limited, and the high dose of certain poisons can overwhelm this process. The breakdown product of the poison along with any unchanged poison will eventually be excreted by the body. This primarily occurs through the kidney via urine, but some poisons may also be excreted through bile, sweat or exhaled air. In cases of poisoning, medical intervention is often necessary to manage symptoms, support vital functions and facilitate the elimination of poison from the body. Treatment may include administration of antidotes at first place, followed by supportive care such as intravenous fluids and respiratory support. It will also require measures to enhance elimination of the poison from the body. This will be done through administration of activated charcoal or dialysis. The outcome of poisoning depends on various factors including the type and amount of poison ingested, the individual's overall health and age, and the timeliness and effectiveness of medical treatment. Some individuals may recover fully, while others may experience long-term complications or even death, particularly in cases of severe poisoning. For more interesting videos, stay connected with us. See you soon.